Film Festival Russian Resurrection. Russian Resurrection. Russian Resurrection. Russian Resurrection. Дневник кинофестиваля Русское Возрождение. Russian Resurrection. Кинофестиваль Русское Возрождение. And now, ladies and gentlemen, can I please welcome to the microphone uh, the Honourable Bob Carr, former Premier of New South Wales, former Foreign Minister of Australia, and we know him as the godfather of Russian resurrection. Please welcome Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I heard uh, Henry Kissinger once say the greatest quality of the Russian people is endurance. And the endurance of the Russian people was never tested more than in the years of the Second World War following the German invasion of Russia that started on June 22, 1941. Australia can only, Australians can only guess at the scale of Russian suffering. My last day as Foreign Minister of Australia found me in Petersburg where I'd been representing Australia at a meeting of the G20, September 2013. It was almost surreal to find myself there while an election was taking place back in Australia, an election in which my side was defeated and my career as foreign minister ended. And there I was in Petersburg. On the day that that election was taking place here, my last duty as foreign minister of Australia was to visit the war cemetery, the greatest war cemetery in Petersburg. It was a hot day. The sweat was in my eyes. It was a hot day. It was September, but it was surprisingly hot. Beautiful, clear Russian sky. And with an honour guard, on behalf of the people of Australia, I laid a big wreath. There was in that grave, that mass grave, a million people buried. A million people because of the colossal losses during the siege of per Petersburg, losses due to starvation and disease and constant bombardment from the, from the German lines. It was enormous suffering. And I thought as I walked there to lay the flowers on the memorial, of how insignificant was me and my friends in Australia losing political office, measured against the colossal su suffering that this cemetery in Petersburg embodied. In the little museum there, there's uh, the story of this suffering told by an account of one girl, a schoolgirl, and how she had been evacuated from the city, starving, broken, a uh, frail, frail little body taken across the ice only to die outside Petersburg. The loss of a child's life, the story of her and her parents is told in this little museum in the cemetery. And again, I thought of Kissinger's words, the greatest quality of the Russian people is in, is, is in endurance. And the capacity of tell, tell stories like this in the novels of Vasily Grossman, building on the tradition of Tolstoy and War and Peace, but above all, in Russian artistic cinema is a measure of the respect with which the people of Russia treat their own history. There are a lot of Russian war films. We've seen them in these festivals. We've seen them before the festival started, Nicholas. They tell a colossal human story. Last year we saw Beanstalk, a story, a story of people in a hospital in Petersburg uh, immediately after the war. There's a sense at this moment about to see another account of Russia at war, um, Consul General, of our humble respect for the suffering of the Russian people and a great sense, a solemn sense, of what their victory meant for all of us on the side of the United Nations in those years when Russia paid with 20 million lives to liberate the world from tyranny. Thank you.